Let us also now elaborate the difference between a joint venture and a partnership. A joint venture is for a specific venture. Joint venture is for a specific venture, but partnership is not limited to a specific venture. What does this mean? If the partnership is for buying and selling clothes, the partnership that is its ordinary business activity and they continue to buy and sell clothes day in and day out for a year, for two years, for five years, for ten years. Going concern concept, the business will continue for a long time. But in case of a joint venture, that is not the case. If Akash and Bikash have got together to sell sweets, that sale of sweets for ten days in Parla will be there only for ten days and after the 10 days are over, the venture comes to an end. The business is closed. So it's a specific venture. Or it is like we said for painting of the house, for making a building, building a house, for construction of a road, construction of a bridge, etc, etc, etc. There is a specific venture, a specific job. Once that is done, the business comes to an end. Next difference could be that the people involved, the partners, the members, these people are called co-venturers in case of a joint venture, but they are called partners in a partnership. What about the profit and loss? Profit or loss is ascertained at the end of a venture. The venture may be for 10 days, maybe for a month, maybe for 6 months, for whatever period, the profit or loss is actually ascertained at the end of the venture. But in case of a partnership, every year, either 31st December, 31st March, whenever is there closing of the books of account, profit and loss is determined. So profit and loss is determined annually. Profit and loss is determined annually. Next, a joint venture has no firm name. Because it's a short term thing, it is for a specific purpose, it does not have a firm name. A partnership, however, must have a firm name. <clears throat> In case of a joint venture, it is not necessary to have a separate set of books. Like I said, Ak Akash has his own set of own business and his own set of books relating to that business. Bikash also has his own business and set of accounting books relating to his business. For the joint venture, they could have a separate set of books. But on the other hand, they need not have a separate set of books. Each of these partners, each of these co-venturers may account for the joint venture in their own sets of books. So there is no need, no need for a separate set of books. But in a partnership, a separate set of books is definitely maintained. Profit and loss of the partnership is ascertained from the separate set of books which is maintained. Every year, profit and loss is ascertained in case of a partnership from the separate set of books which are kept for the partnership. A minor is not allowed to be a co-venturer. A minor cannot be a co-venturer. But in case of a partnership, a minor can be admitted to the benefits of a partnership. Can be admitted to the benefits of a partnership, though he does not share the losses of a partnership. But in case of a joint venture, minor cannot be a co-venturer. How, are, how is accounting maintained in case of joint venture? It is on liquidation basis. Since we know, since we are aware that the joint venture is for a specified purpose or a specified duration, accounting is also maintained in that manner. On a liquidation basis, knowing that it is going to come to an end in 10 days or in a month's time or 6 months time. But in case of a partnership, accounting is on going concern basis where the assumption is that the partnership will continue for a long time. The joint venture is an agreement, it's a contractual agreement between two or more people 
coming together to do a business for a specified period or a specific purpose. They may have what is called a memorandum of understanding between them. However, a partnership is governed by the Partnership Act. Is governed by the Partnership Act. So, what are the basic differences? One joint venture is for a specific purpose, whereas a partnership is not limited to a specific venture. Whatever is its business activity that is carried on day in and day out for several years to come, following the going concern concept. The Business, the people involved in doing, carrying on a joint venture are called co-venturers, but those in a partnership are called partners. Profit and loss is ascertained only at the end of the venture. Once the venture is over, close, profit loss is ascertained and it is shared between the co-venturers in the profit sharing ratio. But in case of a partnership, profit and loss is ascertained at the end of each accounting year. Year may be January to December, it may be April to March, whatever, but at the end of each year, profits and losses are ascertained. A joint venture does not usually have a name, there is no separate firm name, but a partnership has a firm name. Joint venture, in case of a joint venture, a separate set of books for the joint venture need not be maintained. Each of the co-venturers may keep the accounts relating to the joint venture in his own set of books. But in case of a partnership, it, a partnership will have a separate set of books. The profit and loss would be ascertained every year from this set of books. A balance sheet to know the financial position at the end of every accounting year would be prepared from this separate set of books. Next, we said a minor cannot be a co-venturer, but in case of a partnership, a minor is allowed to be admitted to the benefits of a partnership. Accounting for joint venture is on a liquidation basis since we know that the joint venture will come to an end at the end of the specified period or when that specific project or venture is over, specific activity for which the venture was formed is over. But in case of partnership, it is always on a going concern basis. That means we expect the partnership to go on for a long period of time. The joint venture is a contractual agreement between two or more of the business partners. So in a way it would be governed by the law of contract, by the contract act. And normally they may have a memorandum of understanding between the co-venturers. But a partnership is governed by the Partnership Act. This in brief would be the differences between joint venture and 